What up with you guys, you know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike, back again. And today I'm gonna to be talking about and showing you how to downgrade or upgrade to uh, either Mac OS Mojave or Catalina. Uh, I had a video that I dropped over the weekend that talked about why you shouldn't have or shouldn't update to Big Sur. I'm not gonna rehash all those things in this video. You're just gonna go to this link up here in the corner uh, or down in the description, right below the like button, all those things like that. Hit the like button on your way down there. Uh, and um, you can check all of those things out why I say you shouldn't have or shouldn't uh, update to Mac OS um, Big Sur. So you're watching this video probably either because you have already updated uh, or you're thinking of, you're trying to figure out how to just go. I just want to go to Catalina. I just want to go to Mojave. I'm on High Sierra, I'm on Sierra, whatever. I want to just upgrade to something that I know is going to work, get some new features, get my computer in a better security place, blah, blah, blah. But um, also not break my whole system. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, real easy how you can do it and just the quick too long didn't watch type situation there are two links down in the uh, description of the video that you can just click them and it'll take you there and for those who really want to see kind of how to get to them and how to access it you know hey just go uh, watch the rest of this video so let's jump into it let me show you my screen so if you go into the app store you'll see that uh, the only version of um, you know, Mac OS, they'll let you download is Big Sur. But, you know, even if you go in here and say, I just want to download Mac OS um, uh, Catalina, for instance, uh, you get nothing. Same if you type in Mojave, whatever the case may be, but you want to get to those particular ones. So it's really, really easy. Uh, I got those links down in the description of the video. Uh, you can easily just click these links. So let's just say you want to update to Mojave. Uh, this link you're going to click, it's going to take you to this page and it's going to pull up Mac OS Mojave. And you can just click that, go through the official process, uh, verify process of downloading Mojave uh, and either downgrading from Big Sur to Mojave or upgrading straight to Mojave. Same goes for, um, you know, if you want to go to Catalina, you can just hit that link down in the description of the video, down in the comments that are labeled, uh, and it'll take you straight here to be able to download Catalina. All right, so those are the easiest ways to do it. Uh, there's nothing really crazy. This gives you an official way. You don't have to go download any kind of uh, mirrored links or uh, you don't have to try to figure out how to hack it and do an installer and a USB and go through this big convoluted process. No, just hit those links down in the description of this video uh, and it'll take you straight in there where you can upgrade to those things because most of the, the music softwares and plugins and things are working on Mojave and Catalina. I have several friends that are utilizing Catalina on their music production systems uh, and they're working just fine. Now, here's a rule of thumb. I'm gonna give you this for those who just kind of stuck around and watched to the end. This is why you do not upgrade uh, when an operating system first comes out because there are always bug fixes. There are always softwares that's not gonna be working. There's always things that are just gonna break just by updating. So as a rule of thumb, I typically stay about two behind. So I'm on Mojave. I'm not planning on moving from Mojave anytime soon because everything is working. Rule number one when it comes to your uh, music reduction system, don't upgrade a working system, uh, especially in the middle of a project or middle of a whatever. So hopefully this video helped you. Hopefully it gave you some insight, some quick insight on how to get right back into where you are. Uh, leave me a like, uh, drop a comment below. I always look at, answer just about every comment that is humanly uh, possible for me to uh, answer. I do that every day I sit down. I have a period of my day where I just sit down and go through YouTube comments and respond and like and all that as long as you're not talking about anything crazy or asking me something that just is non-related to what the video is, I will respond to you. So you know how we do on these videos. You got to hit the like button. You got to hit the share button. You got to drop a comment below. Do all those things you do on the video. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I'm out. Holla at your boy.